Now I want to show you how to get the free search engine volume data within the Keyword Generator tool. It's quite simple. There's two free sources that I found on the internet that you can get access to key, uh, search volume data. So once you've got your keywords inside of the Keyword Generator tool like we see here, all we have to do is click on that search volume button down here. You also have access to it if you right click and go to search volume and this little window shows up here. So let me explain what this little window what, what this is right here. So if you have you have all your keywords in here and will automatically take those keywords and put them into keyword sets as you see right here. So when you have 427 keywords in our list so it made one set of 427. Now according now we have two sources free sources where you can get keyword search volume from. One is StoryBase, so it's searchvolume.io. They allow you to get um, data for 800 keywords uh, per day for free. And then of course there's the Google uh, Keyword Keyword Planner. So that one's free and they allow up to um, 2,500 keywords at a time and then it's all free. Um, I got my Google account like 15 years ago so <laughs> it's a little different now to sign up for it but I believe all you need to do is enter a credit card and um, you will have access to the free uh, Keyword Planner tool. Um, I believe you don't have to spend any money, you just actually need to have your credit card in there and get access to it. It may have changed over the years, so I'm not exactly sure, but anyhow, it is still free. So here's how it works. So according to StoryBase, you only can do 800 at a time, so that's why I set the maximum to 800. So if you have more than 800 keywords here, it will make sets. So the first one will be 800 and the next one will be, you know, if there's 1600 keywords, it'll be two sets of 800 and so on and so forth. And then for Google, there's 2500. So that's why these are here. So it automatically just quickly creates sets of keywords so you don't have to deal with copying and pasting. So all you have to do now is just select which one you want to work with. Let's go ahead and do the Google first and just click this little copy button. And when you click that copy button, you will automatically open up your browser to the exact spot inside of your Google Planner to go and paste those keywords. So what we do is we go get search volume and forecast, we click here, and then we right click and we paste. And then click get started. And sometimes when you click get started, you may get a few little warnings there saying, oh, this keyword didn't match, and just click OK, whatever, everything was fine here. Now what we want to do is save this to our computer. So you want to click this, but I do want to save it somewhere where I can remember. So I did make a little convenient thing here on this window again. If you go back and click on, when you click open working folder, this will be the last folder that you're kind of working in that you've ever saved a file within the software or opened a file. But at the same time you click this button, it also saves that location to your clipboard. So I'm going to click that and it goes directly to the last place where I was saving stuff, but it also saved it to my clipboard, the location. The location is what you see here, this text right there. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So now I can go, I want to save the uh, plan historical metrics as a .csv file, so click there. And then it will bring up a little window asking me where you want to save it. And so up here, you want to click in here and right click and paste. And that's what I was talking about. Now you can click enter on the keyboard, this little um, arrow here, and now it goes to my folder where I want to save it. Now I'm going to click save. And now I can go and I can see my keyword file here. And now all we have to do is just drag that file right here. And there we go. Now we have all the monthly searches data, which is the monthly searches, cost per click, and the competition right here at our fingertips. So now we can see, according to Google, which ones are getting the most searches. So one thing you can do is you can sort by rank. You can hold down your shift key and do a multi-sort, and now you can sort just within the number one ranks, which ones have the most searches. So dogs, obviously, then dog training, dog house, dog funny, or dog videos funny. <laughs> And then you can see within the number two ranks which one has the most searches. So it's kind of a cool little feature. So that's how you use the uh, Google option. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this out. Now I saved those 
keywords previously, so I'm going to load that keyword file. There it is. And I'm going to do it again, but using the other keyword source. So right click, search volume, and now I'm going to select Storybase and click Copy. Again, it takes me right over to Storybase. And you can right click in here and click Paste and click Submit. And they allow you to do 800 keywords per day for free. Now let's download this again and we'll just download it to the same place. And I'm going to show you one other option. Of course, now I can drag this into this little window here, but let's say this was closed. You can also just drag the actual file directly onto the keyword grid like this. Just You'll see a little mark go all the way around. You can see that blue mark that goes all the way around the grid, meaning it will accept the file, and now it just you get the monthly searches. With the search engine I.O. there option, the only, oh, sorry, what was it called again? The uh, search volume I.O. They only give you the monthly searches where Google gives you the other data. So you can see here Google gives you the cost per click and the competition. So there's a bit of a difference between the two sources. And you'll notice that the data that comes from the other search volume I.O. is a little bit different than the Google, Google options. So you do have some other options to see kind of which data source will be working better for you. But that's basically how easy it is to get free search engine volume data directly in the software. I have attempted to try and get this data directly into the software without using Google or a search volume I.O., but from all my efforts over the years, you ha I have to pay for that data, so therefore I'd have to charge a monthly fee for this software. I don't really want to do that at this moment, so I'm trying to stick to free sources right now. So that's how it works, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.